Sir Edwin Henry Landseer was born in the UK on March 7, 1802 and lived until October 1, 1873. Landseer was a renowned artist who worked in the field of painting and sculpture during a period known as Romanticism. His focus on animal painting gained him great recognition, with horses, dogs, and stags being prominent subjects in his artwork. Landseer is best known for his famous lion sculptures located in Trafalgar Square. Landseer was deeply influenced by his friend and co-worker, John Frederick Lewis, and attended the Royal Academy of Arts in London. His experiences in painting school, coupled with his unique artistic skills, allowed him to create lifelike and expressive animals that captured the imagination of the public. Edwin Henry Landseer was a child prodigy whose talents were recognized early on. He studied under several artists, including his father and Benjamin Robert Hayden, who encouraged him to perform dissections to truly understand animal musculature and skeletal structure. At just 13 years old, Landseer exhibited his works at the Royal Academy in 1815. Five years later, he was elected an associate and at the age of 29, he became an academician. Although he declined the invitation to become the president of the Royal Academy in 1866, Landseer was knighted in 1850. Landseer's work captured the hearts of the Victorian public and his reputation as a painter of animals was unparalleled. In fact, a myth about St. Bernard rescued dogs in the Alps carrying small caskets of brandy on their collars originated from one of his paintings, Alpine Mastiffs Reanimating a Distressed Traveler. Landseer's popularity crossed class boundaries, with reproductions of his works adorning middle-class homes and the works themselves commissioned by Queen Victoria herself. Landseer taught Victoria and her husband Albert to etch and made portraits of their children and pets. In 1873, one of his final paintings was a life-size equestrian portrait of the Queen. As Landseer aged, his mental stability began to falter, and he suffered from recurring bouts of melancholy and depression. In July 1872, at the request of his family, Landseer was declared insane. Despite his struggles, Landseer continued to create art until the end of his life, and his works can still be found in notable institutions such as the Victoria and Albert Museum, Tate Britain, and the Wallace Collection in London. He collaborated with his fellow painter Frederick Richard Lee, and his reputation as an animal painter remains enduring. In conclusion, Sir Edwin Henry Landseer was a remarkable artist whose reputation as one of the greatest animal painters of his time remains enduring. His lifelike and expressive depictions of horses, dogs, and stags, in particular, captured the hearts of the Victorian public. His famous lion sculptures located in Trafalgar Square are a testament to his artistic skill and have become iconic symbols of London. Although he suffered from bouts of melancholy and depression towards the end of his life, Landseer continued to create art until his death, leaving a legacy that can still be seen in notable institutions such as the Victoria and Albert Museum, Tate Britain, and the Wallace Collection. Undoubtedly, Sir Edwin Henry Landseer's influence and impact on the art world will be remembered for generations to come.